Hello, it's Richard Fowler here, Yamaha Brand Ambassador at Rimmers Music in Edinburgh. Today we're going to look at some of the voices on board this uh, wonderful Yamaha CVP805 uh, Clavinova. The voices that we're going to look at today in particular are exclusive to Yamaha and it's one of the things that sets this instrument apart. The technology behind the sounds we call super articulation. And super articulation basically means that the, the, the voice not only sounds like the real instrument, but it re behaves and responds like a real person playing the real instrument. Super articulation started a number of years ago with guitar sounds. We thought it would be a great thing and a great uh, advance to not only have a sound of a guitar on the keyboard, but to have the sound of the guitarist playing the real guitar as you play the keyboard. Here's a great example. First of all, we'll look at the live classical guitar. This is the older sound. And whilst that's a great guitar sound, we're not really hearing the guitarist. We're hearing the guitar, but we're not really hearing the guitarist. The guitarist, when he plays, will make a number of sort of little and subtle nuanced sounds that is exclusive to a guitarist playing a real guitar. Let's have a listen now to the super articulation concert guitar and listen to the difference. Now isn't that something else? You can shut your eyes and you can literally see the guitarist here doing all of those hammer-ons and the slides. You hear the, the fingers leaving the fretboard. It, it sounds like a guitarist playing a guitar and that's the essence of super articulation. And it means that every voice that we have that are, has this super articulation technology the voice behaves like the real thing and that's so important to make this instrument the outstanding instrument that it is. Let's take a listen to another one of the super articulation uh, nylon guitar sounds. This one's a flamenco sound. Now at the bottom of the screen you'll see an eye icon for information. Let's tap that and see what it says. So the first instruction is to play keys in legato. That means to play smoothly. Uh, and if you play smoothly on this, so something will happen with the articulation that's in keeping with the flamenco guitar. 
It also tells us to use the middle pedal, the centre pedal. So let's do that towards the end of our little piece on the flamenco guitar and see what happens. guitarist there but actually you heard his voice too and that came from the pedal and um, so always check out the information on these super articulation voices because you never know what little goodies are also on the pedals on CDP Clavinova. Let's take a look now at some of the electric guitars and this first voice is called Shadow Guitar. Hmm, can't think who that might be. Um, <laughs> let's have a listen. Another great fun sound, a little bit wobbly, very, very typical 60s um, with the, the hammer on and the slides uh, and also the, the, the key off as the, the, the guitarist's uh, hand leaves a fretboard. Just, just brilliant. Let's take a listen to another one of the electrics and this is the fingered chorus. This is probably more for ballads, uh, beautiful thick sound on this one. Let's have a listen now to one of the jazz guitars uh, and down at the bottom of the screen you'll see a demo button, um, an audition button, a very very short demo piece just to give you an idea of the sort of music that you would play on, on each voice. This um, is the demo audition for the jazz guitar artist. Super articulation isn't just about guitars, in fact there's super articulation voices in most of the voice categories on board your CVP Clavinova. Let's take a wander into Brass and Woodwind and take a listen to some of the sounds there. First one here is called Trumpet Fall. very aptly named, if you press the key harder the trumpet falls or if you use the pedal and hit it hard it does what we call a doit, it goes up. Here's a fantastically dynamic big band trumpet And again, that shake simply comes from hitting the key a little harder. Let's go into Woodwind now and take the big band sax. This piece will be very familiar, but again, listen to the effect that comes from the saxophone when we play the key a little bit harder. <laughs> And right at the very end of the piece, you'll have heard the little click as the saxophone player's fingers come off the keys. That's the level of accuracy that we have with these super articulation voices. The string section is a hugely important part of this instrument. So let's take a listen to the Seattle strings. As the name implies, these were literally taken in a concert hall in Seattle with a big orchestra, that's why it sounds so amazing on this instrument. 
What's happening here is because these sounds are super articulation, we can play very gently and very slowly, very smoothly, and get a slow bow. But with the same voice, if we play quickly, the bowing gets faster. That again is the essence of super articulation. It's behaving like the real instrument. Here we go with, uh, with the classical choir and this uh, boys choir ooh sound is just phenomenal on many levels. Down towards the bottom end of the keyboard, the men, the baritones and the tenors were recorded in Germany. The trebles, the boy trebles, were actually recorded in Estonia. But the essence of the engineers at Yamaha being able to mix these sounds so it sounds like the guys were all in the same building at the same time, makes this sound absolutely amazing. So if you play really gentle, the guys will sing very sweetly and very softly. But if you really play quite hard, then they'll sing out very dynamically. And that's just a fantastic choir sound. But the choirs and vocals aren't just about classical choirs. Here we've got a great fun sound called Shubi Du Ba. That sound immediately brings to mind these fantastic 50s backing groups, these doo wop groups. Uh, so let's have a listen then. Essentially, this is changing Shubi Du Ba each time you play a series of notes. Shubi do ba, shubi do ba, shubi do ba, shubi do ba. We call this part of super articulation wave cycling. And what that means is it essentially it plays a different sound each time you play a key. Let's try one more, and this is another great fun voice. This is the Baroque Scat. And let's play a little Bach with our jazz choir. Today we've looked at literally scratching the surface of the many hundreds of sounds that are on board this mid-range uh, Clavinova CVP 805. And we've just looked at some of the amazing super articulation voices that there, there, there are so many more. Next time, we'll go to CVP 809 and we'll show you the even more unbelievably fantastic SA2 voices. These are individual solo voices um, that will just blow your mind. Absolutely incredible, but more of that next time. In the meanwhile, enjoy your music and we'll see you soon.